My name is Rachel Haynes and I found out I had Lynch syndrome three years ago after being diagnosed with endometrial cancer. I started having lots and lots of bleeding and I went to the doctors in the March and they tested me for everything else, fibroids, my hormone levels were still fine and eventually we ran out of options so they sent me for hysteroscopy and it came back that I had um, some cancer cells in my um, womb and on further investigation over the next month or so they found out that I had two different types of endometrial cancer and a seven centimeter tumor coming out of my cervix into my thigh. They kept saying I was too young to have endometrial cancer and the average age for endometrial cancer was 70 and um, I was just by that point just glad that someone had found out what was wrong with me. I had a full hysterectomy including my ovaries um, and I had 18 weeks of chemotherapy. I was supposed to have 30 rounds of radiotherapy, but at that point I was diagnosed with having Lynch syndrome. Um, and it was decided because my chances of getting bowel cancer are much higher and you can only have radiotherapy in that area once, we decided that we would hold back. So my dad had bowel cancer when I was five for the first time, which was 1976. And then he had bowel cancer another four times um, and two different types of skin cancer. He was never tested for Lynch syndrome. Be tested, it might come back negative. And if it's positive, then you might save a life of, of a family member. You might save your own life. Why did I get cancer at 43? Mine wasn't random, it, it has a reason and I can do something about it. So actually, when you have just been diagnosed and I was, I was tested straight away. So mine came through on, I got my result on my second chemo. It didn't make any difference. I'd already got cancer by that point, but I might be able to save the life of my nieces and nephews. And with that knowledge, surely that is, that's gotta be the best thing you can pass on.